This series of videos will show my 00 gauge loft layout, which is still a work in progress. I started the layout build shortly after the start of the lockdown, back in late August 2020. One of the issues I had was the access door is in an awkward location. This was never going to get moved due to the cost of doing so. I also needed good storage in the loft so the lower level is used for other equipment I need to be stored. My main interest at the time was learning to code Arduino microcontrollers and Raspberry Pi single board computers, which was all learned through using YouTube videos and some books. During some of my research for a coding problem I was having, I then stumbled across a little wicket railway YouTube channel. His first video, which was Model Railway Digital Controller DCC++ for £40 or less, was very interesting and this got me looking into the project. I already had a spare Arduino Uno after completing other projects and some old Hornbury set track in the loft and some old DC locomotives from my childhood. So I ordered the motor shield and waited for it to arrive and also ordered a second-hand DCC fitted locomotive to see if it would work before upgrading my old locomotives. I then installed JMRI onto my laptop which was running Windows 10 because this is what I was keen to learn and use for my layout system for control. After creating a simple test track in JMRI and with all the parts available, I quickly set up a test layout on my kitchen table. I was so happy with the results, I found I was hooked with the idea of building a bigger layout. I also started to watch eBay for some of the locomotives I had always wanted as a child, but at the time could not afford. I then started to plan the layout in my head and settled on a simple end-to-end -end layout which would have four stations with passing loops, some sidings with limited scenery. This would give me plenty of running opportunity within that layout idea. Another hobby I have is 3D printing and owned an Ender 3 Pro and this was going to come in handy for making parts for the layout. I had learned SketchUp, which does not take so long to learn the basics. I did look at Fusion 360, but dismissed this after a short time due to the large learning curve. I was quickly talked into changing the track design by my son, who suggested having two levels, with the upper level crossing over the loft doorway access point, which is close to the roof beam. I then decided to start having a look at any rail 6 to help with the track plan as I knew I had to watch for the inclines and with this software I was able to do this and I convinced myself it was all going to work. I also decided I was going to be using Pico Code 100 Flex Track and Pico Turnouts for the layout build. I was going to use SG90 servos for throwing the turnouts. I would also use JMRI via the RS485 bus using CMRI protocols. This I also saw in some of Rob's videos from Little Wicket Railway. I hope this series of videos will give other people ideas of what they can achieve for their home layouts. Our channel already has a large number of videos showing different aspects of 3D design and manufacture and also microcontroller programming with more videos to follow in the future. Thank you for watching. If possible it would help us to spread the channel to more people if you could take the time and like the video and possibly subscribe to our channel.